All right, welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright III here with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I hope you're getting ready for an amazing day tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving in the U.S. We're going to be celebrating and showing our gratitude and thanks for everything we have going on for us. Looking forward to sending a message and doing an episode tomorrow as well for you. Today, let's start out with the quote of the day. The quote of the day is by one of my favorites, Wayne Dyer. And Wayne Dyer says, The elevator to success is out of order. The elevator to success is out of order. I'll tell you what, that's so applicable for today because I had, um, I'll tell you, man, I'm on fire today. And partly, number one, because I had a a leg workout and my trainer, Jeff, left me just freaking crushed. So I wish I had an elevator. Um, I had to sit at the gym for, you know, 10 minutes just before I can get in my car, make sure I didn't have an accident. Um, And the second reason and the more important, more appropriate reason for today is that I just listened to a powerful audio by Joe Rogan. I can't even remember where I listened to it, but I'll tell you what, Joe Rogan is one of those guys that just absolutely um, motivates me. I was so happy to have him back in the UFC this weekend, but um, I love his passion, his enthusiasm, the simplicity of his thoughts. I mean, the bottom line is this guy just punches you right in the face with truth, and you can't help but listen to it. It's uh, he, He's obviously got some colorful language, and I can't really do justice for his message like he can, but you know, truth is so, so, so important, and it's so hard for most people to take, and, and it's great when you hear it because it makes you move forward with your life. And he shared with, uh, he shared with the listeners to this audio three rules in life, three rules that can help you change your life. I want to run those through with you today just as a quick setup for some of the things that are going to be coming over the following weeks. These three rules that Joe Rogan says can help you change your life. Number one, live your life like you're the hero of your story. Write down what you want to get to and go get it. Um, Most people just aren't willing to write it down. The best advice that you have is to live your life like you are the hero. You are the hero of your story. Everybody's life is a disaster. I mean, we need to stop getting caught up in the idea that we have all these challenges and problems. Everybody's got challenges and problems, you know, but pretend that you're starting a new movie. And when you start this movie, you're you're down in the dumps. You're the loser. You're the one who doesn't have it together. You're the one that's not doing it. And then decide not to be that person anymore. Decide that the movie is going to go in your favor, that you're going to be the hero. And do what you want. You know, pretend that you're in a documentary and they're, they're filming your life and you're at the lowest point that you have and you want to make changes. Do what you want to see happen in the story. Do what you want to see the hero do. Do what you want to see your kids look back on and say, wow, my dad or my mom, they really just kicked butt. They made it happen. They did what it needed to take despite the odds. You know, everybody loves a success story. Everybody loves a success story. But you want to know what's better? Turning around a major failure, having your life go to crap and then turning it around and getting it back together. That's better than a success story. So figure out where you're at in life and go sit down and write out what it is you want this story to play out as. Think of yourself as the hero. Write down what the story is going to be. Craft your story. Write a message of you making a difference in your life and decide to be the hero of your story. Make people get inspired by you. You know, most people just spiral out of control. Most people get caught up in the drama and the emotions. We all do. We all do. But pretend that you are watching a movie and it's time for you to make a change. You know, nobody wants to be around somebody that's caught up in their own drama. Nobody wants to be around the person that's complaining about their life and not doing something about it. Someone that's willing to talk about all the problems, talk about all the challenges, but never talk about solutions. That's not the person that you want to be. Be the hero. Be the person that's going to come. Don't wait around for someone else to help you get your life and turn it into a positive story. You write the story. You are the author of your story. And that's the first thing Joe talks about. I just absolutely love that concept. The second thing he says is stop seeking comfort. Stop seeking comfort because most people think you're going to get out and uh, eventually some point in your life you're going to get to a destination where it's going to be easy and you're going to be sitting on the beaches of the world and you're going to be, you know, sipping on champagne and having an easy life. Listen, nobody, nobody should want that. Certainty in life is boring. You know, Tony Robbins talks about the fact that we crave certainty, but we also crave uncertainty. Nothing would be worse than having a boring life. Look at things that are, that are happening. I'm not saying I wouldn't like some of those amazing things, but to truly get fulfillment out of life, we need to be stimulated. We need to have challenges. So stop trying to get rid of all the challenges. Stop trying to get rid of the obstacles. 
you know, it's sad to see losers that just stop trying and stop struggling and, and they just give up. Nobody wants to be that in their life. Look for ways that you can challenge yourself. Crave the challenges. Make it a game. Make it an objective not to avoid challenges, but to accomplish challenges, to tackle challenges. When you change the script, so to speak, your life will change. Stop being part of the world that seeks the easy way out, seeks the comfort, seeks the elevator to success, like Wayne Dyer said, does not exist. Seek the lessons. Look for the difficulty. Find the difficulty in things. Do hard stuff like David Goggins talks about. Through those things, you're going to grow. You know, do, nobody wants to do yoga. Nobody wants to work out. I didn't want to do a leg workout today. You think I got up this morning and, and felt like going to the gym? Of course not. I hate it. I, I, I absolutely hate it. But listen, I did it anyway. And guess what? At the end, I was proud of myself. I had more self-confidence, more self-esteem. I'm going to have a better day. Yeah, sure, I can't walk and I'm having trouble today. But but listen, when you do things that you hate doing, but you do them anyway, the rest of your day is going to be amazing because of it. The minute that you're willing to do things that most people won't and that you would normally not do, that's when you're going to get to a whole nother level in your mindset. The minute you're not doing these things, that's when you start feeling like crap. You know, like Joe says, hello, depression, hello, anxiety, hello, low self-esteem. You know, that's what everybody's dealing with. They're dealing with it because the human condition requires and craves overcoming difficulty and finding a way to do it. There's, it's literally wired into our DNA. We want to have challenges and overcome and create success. If you don't respect that, you know, it, you're not going to win and you won't be happy with your family, your friendships, your relationships, your business. You've got to learn to want to win, to learn, to grow, to struggle, to hurt, to, to you know, want the emotions, to be able to experience the positives. you got to have the negatives, to have the challenges. It's, ca- it's, it's called part of being human. It's called part of learning and growing and developing to the best version of yourself. So start to embrace that. Start to embrace the hard stuff. Stop looking at it as a bad and look at it as a good. And that's the second thing that I wanted to share with you that, that, that Joe talked about. The third thing, and this is the part that most people just don't seem to understand, and that is that 90% of success is just showing up. It's just showing up. You got to learn to create discipline in your life. Discipline is what's going to carry you through when you don't feel like doing stuff. Discipline is going to help you get things done. When you don't do things, you're not going to have success. A big part of success is just showing up. It's just getting there and starting to act and move. And if you only act when you feel like it, then you're never going to have success. You're going to be insecure. You're going to be lazy, depressed, anxious. And most importantly, you're going to start to lose your confidence, your self-esteem, your fulfillment level. Because here's the deal. You've got to remind yourself, everybody feels the same. There are days that require you to push through anyway. There'll always be days you don't feel like doing the work. There'll always be more of those days than the days that you do feel like doing it. There's always more days for me that I don't feel like getting up or I don't feel like working out. There's more of those days than there is when I jump out of bed and I'm like, let's get it on, you know? Um, There's actually not very many of those. Um, But accept it. Understand it. Be okay with it. Um, and start acting in spite of your mood. That's our prosperity pillar. Act in spite of your mood. And most importantly, it's okay to just show up. Stop giving yourself a hard time because you're not at a 10. Showing up is 90% of success. Acting is 90% of success. It's not just about the wins. It's about the consistency. It's about the discipline. Nobody wants to get up and work out early. Nobody wants to spend quality time with their relationships when they're feeling depressed or they feel upset or tired and they want to get away from people. Nobody wants to act in spite of their mood. But guess what? Do it anyway. Learn to push past the 40% mark. Learn where most people quit. Learn to crave the fire. Stop being tired and lazy and unmotivated and start wanting to be a winner. Being the hero of your story. Start being a grinder. Start being that person that you want to be. Push against resistance. Learn to recognize, crave, and push against and push past any kind of resistance that you can have and have pride in your ability that you just showed up, in your ability to do the work. You got to start recognizing the small wins in life, and the small wins are just showing up sometimes. Now, here's my final thought. I truly believe that most people doubt themselves and their abilities, and that's one of their biggest, you know, kryptonites, one of their biggest challenges to overcome besides their belief. They think they lack self-confidence or maybe have low self-esteem, but you need to understand this. 
there's there's a huge difference between self-doubt, self-esteem, self-confidence. Learn to recognize the difference in each of these and work on each of these. I love, um, Ed Milet taught me some really important distinctions between self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-doubt. Because see, you can overcome self-doubt by just growing your confidence. Confidence comes from your actions. Confidence grows by actually doing the work and showing up. Do more, be more, have more, risk more. Do this all through your actions and showing up. And as you know, Joe Rogan says, be the hero of your own story. Stop looking for the easy way out and just show up. Do the work and you'll get the results and you'll, you'll be more confident. You'll eliminate this self-doubt. And, and, and on a side note, back to that thought, you know, Ed talks clearly about ways to increase your self-confidence. If you listen to that podcast he did on like, I think it was called Unshakable Confidence. He said, um, if I remember correctly, number one, increase your competence by increasing your knowledge and ability, abilities. That'll increase your confidence, your competence. Second, believe. Choose to believe in your ability to learn. Meaning even if you don't know something, just know that you'll go figure it out. You can learn, you can adapt, believe that. And third, increase your belief in your self-worth, your intrinsic value, because it doesn't matter. Look, all of us were born with greatness. You have to just choose to believe that. Your intrinsic value, your self-worth, it's not dependent on other people or outside influence, period. Make it a decision, decide that you, despite the odds, despite your history, despite your circumstances and your programming to this point, you are worth it. You do have value, you are unique because you are. The number one problem people make is that they base their self-worth or their intrinsic value on outside things. Appearance, social media, skills, their resume, their track record, money, opinions of other people, which is just ridiculous. You have self-worth by deciding that you have self-worth. Sorry, anyway, I know I got off on a tangent there, but let's circle back around to uh, Joe Rogan. Here's the deal. Number one, choose to be the hero of your story write the script the way you want it to be. Number two, stop seeking comfort. Look for the challenge. Look for the difficulty. Look forward to that. And third, just show up. Show up. These three simple rules with very specific, easy, simple things that you can do will change your life. And if you're ready to move forward and if you're ready to get unstuck out of your life or your head, and if you're looking for a change, a miracle, an opportunity, new plan, whatever it is you're looking for, the bottom line is this. Be the hero of your story and write the next chapter of your life. That's the message I wanted to be able to give you today. I hope it gets you moving a little bit. I hope it's something that you can um, you know, use to inspire and motivate yourself. And do me a favor, share this podcast. Share it with somebody that you think will benefit from it. It would mean a world to me. And more importantly, it'll make a difference for someone else, like it's made a difference for you. Anyway, that's the message for today. Once again, my name is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind. Have a great day.